Hello everybody, welcome back to another CYT Crypto episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison and today we're going to be looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum and asking the question, where is this going to break out? Is it going to break out to the upside? Is it going to break out to the downside? So we're going to be looking at that and see where this might go because this is an extremely kind of hard market to kind of play just now. And that's all we can, we can do it short term at the minute, but on the four hour chart, there is a breakout coming. We just don't know which side is going to come. But we can take a look at that. I'm going to show you that. So if you stay, if you're interested in that, stay with me till the end of this video as well. Okay. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit the like on the way out as well. And leave a comment down below. That'd be fantastic if you could do that. If you want to support the channel, there is a new book coming out, my new book called The Belief Principles, Seven um, Beliefs That Will Transform Your Life. All about how you can change your life by changing your beliefs, installing new beliefs and getting rid of limiting beliefs as well. There's a link down below for that as well. Okay, let's dive into the markets just now. Okay, we have an overall market capitalization of $183 billion, Bitcoin dominance of 65.9%. Bitcoin itself is down 2% to 6,600. Are we going to break below this? Um, if we do break down below 6,500, we could be in for a choppy time, but we could break above 7,000. You just never know in this market just now. It's just crazy times we're living in. And we'll look at EDC blockchain is up 751%, jumped into top 100. Um, streamer data is doing extremely well, 44%. Numerair is doing great, 12%. Ogre status quant, not up by that much. So there's about 20% in the green, not even that, 15% in the green. The rest are in the red just now as Bitcoin goes down. KuCoin shares down 7.51, swipe down 13. The data hash craft going down as well. And um, we'll look at some coins on Binance as well. They're doing real well. Coty is doing fantastic. Um, that's one of the long-term ones we kind of projected would do good. That's doing fantastic just now. Okay, let's look at Ethereum just now. Um, Ethereum is going to be the same as Bitcoin as well. We can see these kind of arrows and the measured moves. These green arrows here are the measured moves. So we could break up to the upside of $182 or break to the downside to $87. Um, if we break, and that's the kind of size of this symmetrical triangle just now. We're still well within that symmetrical triangle. We're going down at the moment. This is on the hourly chart. We're kind of down just now. We're just going to go to the four hourly chart um, just now for Ethereum. Still the same scenario in place. A break to the upside or downside. Um, so we crossed over at $129. We did get up to $144. And we kind of touched it again, this resistance line. Touched it again and came back down. So we could be coming down to initially $130 for Ethereum and then either kind of a bounce from there and a breakout from there up to $180 or a break from here down to possibly below $100 again. And it's going to straighten this up. So it's, it's just a, an extremely difficult market to kind of gauge just now, obviously with everything that's going on in the stock markets as well. And we'll be looking at that as well with the 2 trillion, 6 trillion and 10 trillion. Some people are saying 10 trillion are going to have to be put in. It's not just the 6 trillion um, dollars that the Congress are kind of putting, a, putting in, but there's going to be more um, than that overall when you look at the grand scheme of things. Um, so you'd think that would stimulate the markets. It kind of is just now, but we could be in for a big, big fall after that with the stock markets. If the stock markets fall, you're going to, it's almost guaranteed that um, Bitcoin is going to fall as well before it kind of rises again and really kind of shoots up past the all-time highs of 20,000. I just don't think, I don't feel it's happening just now. Um, and all we can do is play the short-term game um, at the minute because this is just really, really strange. What I've seen over the last couple of days is Bitcoin follows the price of Wall Street very, very closely until last night. So last night, kind of Wall Street was up about, the Dow Jones was up about 1,000 points and Bitcoin just stayed stagnant, which led me to believe, okay, we're going to have a big drop here. Um, but it didn't happen. So we're going to be looking at this. This is Bitcoin chart just now. This is on the four hourly chart as well. We've crossed over on the four hourly at 6,045, which is good. And um, we kind of went all the way up to around about the $7,000 range and kind of came back down again. We're sitting at $6,603 at the minute, but you can see this channel here quite clearly for the last three days now. We need to break to the downside or the upside for this to make a move and see where we're going. It looks as if we're coming down slightly, but you never know, this could just turn um, quite quickly again. 
we've seen we were coming down here from 7,150 down to 5,700 and then it broke back up again. Um, so the same could happen here. We could be going up in steps just now almost if we kind of put that here as well. From 5,400, jumped up to another step, 6,400, jumped up to another step here um, at 6,700 or 6,800. Just can't break through that step just now. So um, for that to be kind of validated, these kind of step patterns, um, we need to break through 6,800 for Bitcoin just now. At the moment, it's just chopping and changing. It just doesn't know where it's going just now. Um, traders don't know kind of which way this is going to blow. Um, so it's really difficult to um, read this at the moment. This is why I'm going to, as I said, I'm just trading the kind of 50 minute. On the 50 minute chart, we're down, we're bearish at the moment. But you can see how many times we've been in and out on a 50 minute. So it's not that good. It's okay for trading. Um, if you're kind of trading in and out of Bitcoin, it's okay for that. But very, very choppy. Very choppy. There's no big moves that have come. I think the last big move was um, yesterday. Um, and it can move from 6,600 um, all the way up to 6,900 or 7,000. Uh, and that was yesterday, kind of early in the morning. Uh, but then came all the way back down again as well. So really, really strange, kind of eerie um, with Bitcoin just now because there's hardly any kind of movement at the moment. I um, want um, to look at the guppy. This is a kind of weekly guppy. We've not looked at this in a while. We're still green, and um, this is on a weekly chart. We're still green in the guppy just now, the super guppy, and um, just now we're still green. But you can see if we kind of zoom in here, we're just kind of turning grey at the moment, turning grey. But we've got two weekly green candles here, and um, they're kind of pushing it up and keeping it up there just now. I think if we have another kind of red candle, we're going to turn red very soon with the super guppy and we, we shouldn't really kind of do that looking at the past kind of super guppies we've seen this kind of prolonged period of super guppy just looking at history 700 day period 427 day period and we should have a, a 1400 or around about 12 13 1400 day period of green as well 1100 we've got there and going up to 192,000 dollars for Bitcoin. Obviously, when you think about it in the context of what's happening just now, that doesn't seem likely it's going to go to $192,000, but it's just within the context of the moment. And this is why we can only look at what's happening right here, right now as well. So at the moment, it's just kind of jumping up 6,622 just now. Okay, we'll look at the ETH bears and the ETH bulls as well. This is the ETH bear coming down just now, 13.18. It is at the moment. Um, it's crossed up over on the 50 minutes, so we're still bearish at the moment. It could bounce off this 21 EMA at 13.09, bounce back up again, uh, and which is what it's been doing just now. So there's still money to be made. It's just very, very choppy, just very hard to kind of read the markets and when to get in just now. So it could be looking at the hourly. It might be better to look at the hourly, but again, this is choppy. It did cross over at 12.62 for the bear. And it's back in bearish territory just now on the hourly. So confirmation that it is bearish at the moment. But as we said, this could turn on a whim. Um, here it crossed over at 12.96 again. But 13.18, we'll go to the ETH bull. This is ETH bull just now. That's on a five minute. We'll look on the hourly, what's happening. So crossed down over um, at 88.82. But we're going back up again. So we're in and out just now all the time. Dow Jones, let's look at the Dow Jones just now. 21,200 at the minute. Obviously, it's changing just now with the futures. But I want to show you a pattern just now. I'm just going to change this. Okay, so we hit this line. We had previous resistance here, around about the 18,300 level. That was previous resistance, strong resistance as well. Kind of knocked on that door a couple of times before breaking through. That is now acting as support just now. So 18,265. Uh, you can see a big, big candle there um, that jumped up. This is on the weekly as well. It jumped up as one of the biggest um, kind of weekly jumps in history of kind of the Dow Jones. But that's because of obviously the big, huge drop um, that happened here, 30% or so. So you're going to get these massive bounces as well. So that really doesn't mean anything to me. This is more important, this line here, 
acting as support. So it could be that we come back down here on the Dow Jones and kind of bounce off there. It might be kind of double bottom, go back up again, or we could break through that and go down to previous support, which was kind of around about 2007, 2008, when the last economic crash happened. And that would act as support because it was previously resistance. And that could be all the way down to 14,000. And that number signifies a drop of about 53%, which is what we went down in 2007-2008. So I'll show you that just now. I measured move, or I measured kind of look at it. So it went down 54% from 2007 all the way to March 2009. And from here, if we fell 54%, you can see we're just under this line here. Right about 13,000. So I'm going to say 14,000 when that was previous resistance. So we could come down to 18,200. If we break down below that, we could go down to 14,000. How's that going to impact Bitcoin? It's going to impact it big time. It seems to be following the Dow Jones very, very closely just now. So if you keep an eye on this as well, this is the stock markets. So this is kind of like the futures. This is what IG.com are saying is kind of the bell is going to open at minus 376. Here, obviously, they don't know. They're just kind of guessing. This is a kind of uh, spread betting platform. Um, this is the FTSE 100 just now, minus 55. The DAX is down 134 at the minute, back below 10,000 again. And Wall Street um, is down below 21,000. But we've seen it yesterday going up um, big time there as well. So Dow Jones kind of yesterday went up to 22,000 before coming back down again. Why are we talking about the Dow Jones? because it's got an extremely important bearing on what's happening just now, obviously with the trillions of dollars going into the markets um, at the minute, um, with the kind of Congress and kind of President Trump um, kind of doing his thing with quantitative easing and just kind of helping out the economy. Overall, I don't think it's good for the economy, but at the moment, uh, it's giving people a little more confidence. Me, it would just be, okay, we might go up in the short term, but where's it going to go in the long term um, after this? It's just going to be a bit of a shitstorm for the next possibly year or so, it's probably going to last longer than we actually thought with this coronavirus. Nobody's going to work. Remember, hardly anybody's going to work. Um, and there's a lot of people just staying at home just now because they're not going to work. That's going to have a massive economic impact uh, on the economy. Uh, we're not seeing it at the moment, but the next two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, couple of months, we're going to see that impact. And how's that going to impact the stock market? How's it going to impact Bitcoin? I just can't see it, Bitcoin, rising from here. I really can't see it rising from here. It's just kind of crazy and um, to think that it could rise big time from here. However, however, it could be that people turn to this instead of going to gold. I don't think we're there yet, but it could be that we turn to this instead of going to gold. And gold had a massive jump up as well. And this is on the daily. We'll look at the daily for gold as well. Look at this. Big, big, huge jump. Kind of went up. 12%. Now, that's huge for gold. There's nothing in crypto world, but it's huge for gold. So, gone up. A lot of people are going into gold just now. And Bitcoin, obviously, when it's not a case of if um, kind of Bitcoin survives and uh, stuff like that, I think when it turns into the digital gold and people go into Bitcoin as a safe haven, I think that's coming. Uh, I don't think it's going to be within the next couple of months, but I do think it is coming um, eventually. And then um, Bitcoin will go up past the $20,000 and on its way up to that $192,000 within a couple of years. That's my thinking with that. Ethereum is still extremely bullish on Ethereum as well. I think that's going to lead the crypto space as well. Um, and that's Ethereum. So we're down at the moment uh, and it could go down further. I'm expecting further downside um, for Ethereum and for Bitcoin and for other alts as well, obviously. Um, but in the long term, still extremely bullish on this. Okay, let's look at Binance just now and see what's kind of playing out well. Metal is doing extremely well. That's up 52% uh, at the minute. Data is still doing well um, as well. That's the one that Tiki Tawari um, kind of announced that was back in the 19th of March, 18th, 19th of March, kind of went up big time from there. I'd have been good um, just to pay the $5,000 for that and putting a lot of money in for that. I'd have been um, kind of good to just 
could have worked out well for you, and depending on how much you could put in. Um, Kokos is not really up, it's just um, switching between four and five Satoshi at the minute. Um, Kote, I still think, is a good long term play. Uh, and that's kind of crossed over on the day. And the four hourly, you can see that 213, it's gone up to 255. It did go up to 270. But I think that could rise again, depending on what happens with Bitcoin over the next couple of days. That could rise again to 455 or kind of possibly even higher. But we'll see with Kote, you just um, don't know. But it's actually done really well in these kind of tough economic times. And the crypto market has um, been one of the best performers. And you can see we did get down to 200. But remember, a couple of weeks before that, it was only 116 Satoshi on KuCoin when we were talking about it. So it's held up extremely well and it's at 255 just now. One of my long termers, I think that could be a brilliant one. I'm not going to look at any news. So really that's it for just now. I just want to kind of show you where we could be going and why the stock market is so important to watch just now. If you see and watch this, so Wall Street just now, futures is minus 263. It was about 100 points lower, I would imagine now. Bitcoin price has gone up slightly. Yeah, there we go. 6636, so it's following it very, very closely. So if you keep an eye on this, I'll put a link down below. This is ig.com forward slash UK forward slash welcome dash page. You can keep an eye on it and just look at the Wall Street price. When you see this going down big time, you're going to see about 30 seconds later the Bitcoin price is going to follow. I've been watching this all day yesterday, but when the bell opens at 1.30, what is going to happen there, I just don't know. Um, so we need to wait and see, but Bitcoin is following that price very closely. And uh, Even if we kind of look at this just now, as this goes down, you probably see Bitcoin going down or down further. So if this drops below 300 points, you'll see Bitcoin falling again as well. 6631. 270. We're not going to see it at the moment, but keep an eye on that because there is a, <laughs> there seems to be a direct correlation. Um, 284, you can probably see Bitcoin coming down. Yep, it's coming down. So it's very, very clear. It's not a coincidence um, that that is, I'm, not, I'm saying it's not a coincidence. I just don't know why it's happening just now, but it is directly correlated with that. It seems to be directly correlated. And I was trading it yesterday using um, kind of this. So 2.6 is coming back down again, so we should see Bitcoin going back up. Again, in about 30 seconds, we should see a jump up to past 6.630 again. And there we go, 6.630. Um, so it's taken a bit, it's a 30 second lag. And I would imagine if this is coming down, yep, we'll see Bitcoin going up even more, probably. So it's just a 30 second lag, and we should see it jumping up to around about 6.638. Again, we'll just see this slight jump. And then I'll finish, finish it there. What are we on? Two, three, six. Should see a slight jump here as well. Yep, there we go. Six, six, three, five. Direct correlation. Okay, that's kind of weird when you kind of see that direct correlation. Very, very strange. But it does, it is happening just now. So keep an eye on that. I'll post a link down below for that ig.com and show you how that is. Because you can get a 30 second. A 30 second is going to be quite good for you if you're kind of scalping as well. Okay. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit that like button as well, really important. And also, if you want to support this channel, buy the book, it's coming out um, at the end of April. Um, I'm really looking forward to that and hope you find it useful as well when you do kind of read it. And there's been a lot of people kind of bought it already and be brilliant if you could buy it as well to support the channel. Okay, until next time, namaste, take care, bye now.